Hi, welcome to simplyhike.co.uk. In this session, we're taking a look at the Camelback Vantage 35 backpack, obviously with the integrated hydration system. Let's go ahead and take a closer look. So being from Camelback, you obviously know that all the materials and features we have in here are real top spec stuff. And when they make a proper backpack for hiking or trekking, really is one to pay attention to. Some of the features we've got with this bag then, we start on the front. Nice large compression strap at the front here to hold the lid down. Obviously if you want to stuff any extra bits and pieces under the lid, this is really a great little extra bit of kit. Little zip pocket on the front here as well. Nice large space though, you can fit quite a fair few bits and pieces in there if you need to. Little clip as well so you can attach your keys. Nice little aluminium finishing on the zips throughout the bag as well. Nice extra bit of quality, makes them easy to grab hold of with gloves on as well. We've also got attachments for walking poles at the top here, elasticated sections and little anchor points at the bottom. More compression straps on both sides. Obviously once open allows the bag to be fully stretched out though, obviously these are adjustable on the sides. We've got these elasticated mesh or lycra type pockets, really nice large pockets this, you can fit all manners of things in here, anything you need to get to a little more easily and a little more regularly. On this side specifically, we have another little zip, it goes all the way down to the side, this gives you access into the main compartment itself, which is a really great idea, obviously if you pack the bag quite heavily, you need something towards the bottom rather than the top, it's like an access pocket, really handy to have. On the other side, we've obviously still got the compression straps and that elasticated pocket, but no side access on this side. On the top of the bag, another little lid compartment. Again, nice large space. Maybe fit in like a lightweight waterproof or an extra base layer in there, perhaps if you need it. Really easy to get hold of then. If we undo the top lid, as we said, another great place to stash all your bits and pieces. We've then got a compression strap towards the top and also a nice large duffel type entry at the top of the bag as well. This means you can open up the bag really nice and wide, makes it exceptionally easy to fill. Also, as you can see, open it up, it's a nice large 35 litre capacity backpack inside. We do all those up and lock them all in. And take a look at the backpack itself. Quite a substantial backpack system as you can see, all very heavily padded, exceptional comfort on here. We've also got a clever little rotation system at the top so the shoulder straps can move independently away from the backpack, makes it a lot more comfortable to carry. Also some adjusters as well so you can position those shoulder straps correctly. As we said, all heavily padded, mesh lined as well so the air can really circulate through these shoulder straps keeping you nice and comfortable. Adjustable at the bottom, we've also got a chest or sternum strap in the middle here as well. This is elasticated, it's going to stop these shoulder straps from sliding off the shoulders. It's also fully adjustable on these rollers on the side here, so you can give great positioning for that sternum strap in the middle, obviously stopping you from getting uncomfortable. Also the quick release clip as well, it's easy to get in and out of the bag. Towards the base, the waist strap. Again, really heavily padded and make you nice and comfortable. Also with that aerated mesh panels on there as well. The waist strap at the front, again, fully adjustable with the quick release clip. We've also got these little elasticated bands on here to gather up all that excess, stop it from flapping about too much. It just gets annoying when they hang down. So you can tuck them all away, make it a bit more tidy. Again, adjusters on the sides, you can get the correct fit around the waist. Also a little zip pocket on the front here. This is great for maybe like a little compact camera or something. Pop it in right where you need it when you want it as well. Really great little pocket. The back plate on here, as you can see, is quite impressive. Mesh panel over the top, maximise the airflow. These big channels in the middle here, it's going to really allow this air to circulate nice and comfortably. It's really going to make you nice and comfortable. You're not going to get too hot when you've got this on. We've then got these three panels, as you can see inside here, these white sections. Nice foam, really going to be nice and comfortable on the back, but they've also got these kind of right ribs inside of here as well. Benefit of this is it means to hug the contours of your body a lot more comfortably, I'm going to curve with you, it's going to be so comfortable on your back, a really great backpack to use. The hydration system, 
is stored behind this back plate. We have a zip towards the top here. Should we turn the bag round? You can just see in the top, the hydration bag hung inside. Having the correct orientation with this little yellow loop, actually it can undo that. And the hydration pack itself can be slid right out. Three litre capacity, as we said before, so more than enough fluid in there to keep you going for the day. Some of the changes that Camelback have made to their hydration packs this season. This new lightweight plastic surround gives a bit more rigidity, but obviously cuts down on weight as well. And a really simple, easy to use cap system. Before you had to unscrew it all, now you can literally just one twist and it's open. Really simple. Nice large opening at the top here as well. Makes it simple to fill and also easy to clean. Rubberized seal around the cap as well. So once you pop this all back together, give it a twist, all locks back into place and stops any of that fluid from escaping. That then slides back into place and hooked into position with that little yellow loop. Again, it gives it the correct orientation. We then behind there, whether you'll be able to see on the camera or not, you've got access into that back plate system as well. So any adjustments that you need to make or any maintenance, you've still got access into that back section. The hose, as you may have noticed, has this extra neoprene cover around the outside. Just unhook it. It's going to give extra insulation to the fluid inside. So obviously if you're out hiking, maybe in hotter climbs, perhaps keeps this fluid inside here nice and cool. Or alternatively, if it's got cold outside, the last thing you want is all your fluid freezing. So this extra neoprene cover protects that from happening. We've then got the, the mouthpiece. Same mouthpiece you tend to find on all the camelbacks this season. Nice low profile mouthpiece, this one. Demand valve at the top, permanently closed until you pop it into your mouth. You can then bite down on it to open that valve out. Allows all the fluid to go through. You can then release and it'll lock it down. We've then got the flow regulator clip at the bottom here as well, the little switch, the yellow section. Flick this open, maximizes the amount of flow from the reservoir so you get a nice big mouthful when you take a sip. Alternatively, push it down, minimizes the amount of flow so you can, depending on your personal preference, really customize the amount of fluid you get at any one time. Really great little mouthpiece. Obviously with the extra insulation, really keeps everything nice and cool. And with a fantastic back plate system we have in here, all the extra pockets, it really is a great backpack to take with you.